Happy Monday! It's time for some shine. Y'all know what it is. Today we are thinking of ways we can be the light. We can shine on somebody, meaning, you know, let Jesus be known and shown through us, okay? He's left us here to be bright, to shine the light, not dim it, but not shine the light on ourselves, to shine the light on him, okay? Um, and, you know, that's through our actions, through what we do, how we speak to others, uh, how we live our lives daily, and so on. So today, we are going to shine by really highlighting the fruit of the Spirit in our lives, okay? You know... It can be tough sometimes when we go day to day interacting with people, even our own families, and we're having our own tough times. But I want to encourage you today to really ask the Lord to help you walk in the fruit of the Spirit today and be led by the Spirit. All fruits of the Spirit are super important. We need them all in our lives. We need to be asking the Spirit to help us walk in those things. But today I feel the need to talk about self-control and patience. We interact with people so much, most of us at least, on a daily basis, whether that is on our jobs, whether that is our own families, whether that is when we're out at the gym or out taking a walk, whether that is even when we are in traffic, right? We need to be showing self-control and patience, even to ourselves. Like for example, we need to learn to say no. And have self-control with, um, you know, what we're watching, what we're eating. Like, is it good for us? Are they good for our spirit, our, our mind, our, our, um, our health overall, you know, our body? We need to have self-control to say, you know, even though I don't feel like doing this right now, I'm going to do it because I need to do it. It's what I know is the right thing to do, right? We need to have self-control to be loving to people, which love is another fruit of the Spirit, see? To be loving to people even when they are unloving to us. To be kind back to kindness, there we go again, but to be kind to people that are not kind to us. Whether that's somebody being, you know, a bit rude to you when they speak to you or somebody ignoring you when you speak or... um somebody cutting you off in traffic or you know your own kids you know having a rough time and maybe not speaking to you the kindest or you know a, a family member a manager whomever we've got to be able to have that self-control to still love to still um to still keep our mouth shut right and to focus on clean thoughts to to love people in spite of, right? To love people even when they got attitudes with us or are working our nerves, because we human too. But because we have the spirit to guide us and living inside of us, we can still be kind and loving. Again, those are fruits of the spirit too, so it all ties together. We can still be kind and loving, but having self-control and watching our mouths, watching what we say, how we react, how we respond to people, right? And then that goes along with patience as well. Having patience with people. Again, whether that's in the grocery store, whether that's at the gym, um, whether that's with our own families. Having pa patience with people. Giving people grace, right? Um, being able to wait patiently in traffic and not go off on a, a, a rant and rage in the car. Because we have the fruit of the Spirit. So that is how we are going to shine today, y'all. We are going to shine by being kind in spite of by having self-control to not respond to people and treat them the way they treat us to be patient with people and show kindness and grace even if they don't give it to us because it is not all about us it is about shining the light of Jesus and in this I'm not saying be walked over top of I'm not saying stay in situations you don't need to be in or anything like that but I'm just saying it is it is our job to be loving, to be kind, to have self-control, to show grace, to have patience and all of those things, right? That we need to be doing that as followers of Jesus, okay? Because again, it's about showing his love to others and shining in the darkness. There's already enough darkness. We must be the light. 
especially as things continue to get darker and darker in this world we must be the light okay don't hide yourself don't dim yourself you speak up and shine and your way of shining may not be loud and that's okay God created all of us with different personalities but we all as followers of Jesus are God's children so we all have a light in us that should be bright and should be shining wherever we are and again that could be a quiet light that you're helping somebody next to you quietly it could be a quiet light of you um loving your neighbor around you uh it's just you know or it could be a loud bright light where you're you know the one in the room making everybody smile and laugh it just depends on the way that god created you individual uh, excuse me excuse me created us individually we all are unique but we all have that light in us to shine so shine on baby shine on we not dimming our light today all right